If I ever hear the words Kaldri 4 PS4 Remaster, I will literally shit my pants with excitement. Oh, what the fuck? My baby just got pricked! So what are some of my crazy Illuminatis out there? Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and also today's topic because it's going to be very, very goddamn interesting. So this was posted 24 hours ago, this tweet right here. So this tweet, this random ass tweet that was posted two years ago in 2014 got replied by Call of Duty, the actual verified account on Twitter. It got replied yesterday on 4-27-2016. And he it replied with a pants emoji and a poops emoji because the because this guy, this random ass guy said he will shit his pants if he were to hear that the Call of Duty franchise were to go back and remaster the Call of Duty 4 uh, game. And uh, well, they replied with a fucking pants emoji and a poops emoji. What could this mean, guys? What could this mean? Illuminati, maybe. I don't know. But um, but yeah, man. Now, what's going on here? Is it really being remastered? That would be fucking interesting to see because if it is remastered, man, I cannot wait to play that game 24-7 for seven days straight in a non-stop. I'm fucking ask for a whole week off, ask for vacations and be like, yo, I'm going to be in fucking at the island or at the beach, you know, for a whole week. So give me my vacation and just play Call of Duty 4 24-7 non-stop, man. Because God damn it, that's the freaking father of the whole Call of Duty franchise. Maybe it is. For me, it is because I didn't play Call of Duty 2 or Call of Duty 3, so I never got to experience those games. But Call of Duty 4, I did get to play it sometimes. I think my max amount of hours of having that game is four hours or less. And the reason why is because I never got to play it. I didn't have internet during that time. Most of the times, I just play Madden and street racing, so I really did not. I wasn't interested into FPS yet at that time. But I did manage to play it sometimes here and there, maybe like for 20 minutes or less, maybe like two matches, three matches per like per month. So I uh, really didn't get to experience Call of Duty 4, but now that they're bringing it back into the PS4 and the Xbox One, shit, man, I can't wait to go crazy in that game. So um, the reason why I think this might actually happen is because Vonnegar does the same shit. Now, you guys have been following Vonnegar on Twitter. He always posts up clues for the next DLC. He still does it right now. And he will say like, oh, do you guys remember this map, blah, blah. And a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, you know, I remember, blah, blah. And, then, you know, he fucking, and it happens, you know, it happens that he returned Nuketown or he returned this old classic map, Skyjack or whatever. He, like, he, he fucking gave us clues for, for Skyjack. So what I'm guessing they're trying to do is they're trying to copy Wandahar, you know, with the clue things. Because it's fucking cool, I guess. I guess people, you know, love to hear rumors all the time and you know they ended up getting followed and shit they'll get famous by that tweet and shit so that's what's going on guys i'm guessing it could be true but the thing is that now the biggest question is who is gonna make the call of duty 4 remaster because remember we got three different companies treyarch infinity ward and sledgehammer games my guess is it will still be infinity ward come on man they, they, these are the guys who created the call of duty 4 game so if it were to go to Sledgehammer games, I think that would be a freaking robbery. And if they were, and if they were to do a bad job on it, I'm pretty sure that company is going to get shit canned. So um, I'm guessing that Infinity War will actually pick up the project and, you know, and work on it in 2019. And uh, it might not happen this year because it's, it's already called Call of Duty Infinite. So, and there's a lot of rumors that the next Call of Duty is going to be taking place in space. So there's really, there's not going to be a chance to be coming out this year at all. So uh, at this point, I believe it's going to be coming out in three years, 2019, which sucks. It's going to be a long ass wait, but I guess it's going to be worth it. Hopefully they don't fuck it up, though. Hopefully they don't, they're not going to be like, oh, the M16 is, is locked behind a supply drop, blah, blah. You're going to have to buy COD points. Like, that would be a fucking stupid thing to do. Hopefully they don't do that, man. I'm praying every day for that not happening. So, yeah, let's all pray together, guys. Let's all make it to go into the big circle right now and pray for them not to bring supply drops into this Call of Duty 4 remaster game, please. Please do not bring it back. So uh, that is it, guys. That I wanted to talk about. Uh, this tweet is very interesting. I'm not sure if it's going to happen or not, but I'm I'm leaning towards maybe it will happen. So um, uh, state your guys your own opinions in the comment section. I'll read them later. And if you guys think it's going to happen or not, you know, leave it in the comment section. So I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more Call of Duty.